Hey, welcome back to GT Canada. Now you might be wondering what I'm doing out at the trailer today. Well, we have a toy hauler model of trailer and in the back we've got a cargo area and I want to take the cargo door off and install my own patio door with a sliding door. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today and I'm gonna be showing you exactly what we're doing, how to do that. So in the back along the bottom, we've got these little hex bolts and they are holding the hinge on. So these use a Torx style socket. This one is a 45, a T45. And I used it just like this. I did have to put a snipe on it in order to get the leverage that I needed, but just make sure you pop them in tight and firm and pop up and they should come off. It should be noted that some of the trailers out there actually have nuts behind them this one i couldn't reach the the rear end is fully boxed in so they're just welded nuts in there but if you can get to the back side there might be nuts behind there that you need to get a wrench on as well this one didn't have those so i'm going to finish taking the last couple off and we're going to take the whole door right off so that was easy we've got the door out it took four people it's actually really heavy you don't realize how heavy these doors are until you've got those springs off which actually offer a lot of assist. So the door is just sitting on the grass for now. We're gonna work on framing out this space. So I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me framing it out and then I'll come back and review kind of what we did as we went through this whole process. And just like that, the patio door is all installed. I'll give you a quick run through here. Unfortunately, my battery died while I was um, putting the, the door in itself. So you don't have that in the time lapse, but I'm gonna show you the finished product here. This is just get it sealed up mode. I do have to come back and put the trims in, put the um, weather stripping inside and the insulation and then panel the inside just to finish it completely. But this will at least get it sealed from the elements. So here we'll go for a walk through. I'll close that door off. So there you can see we've got the one couch out now. So we've just got the one couch in. We've got the sliding door, TV still over there. Got lots of space here to add more of like an entertainment unit with shelving and whatever. And then this is the sliding door. We've now got a view out onto our golf course and the deck's gonna be set up a little bit better, but we can now go straight out this door to outside, just like that. See, the sun's shifted high in the sky, but there you can see kind of the door in its space. As you can see, an eight by eight opening, which is what this is, gets taken up quite a lot of space once you get a sliding door on there. So we're gonna paint that panel board. We're gonna put some trim around the door so that that's all complete. And then the we just step right out onto the patio set. We are putting a gazebo over here, which will add a roof to this space as well. Um, it's not set up yet. It's actually sitting on the trailer right there. Um, I'm not sure that we're doing that today. In fact, I know I'm not doing it today because I just want to enjoy the rest of the day and just kind of hang out. So we're gonna get the deck all set up so that it's finished, looking good. But the space inside is gonna be a lot more usable now as a three or four season RV. Some of you may be wondering what this is right here. Our back of the cargo area actually has a beaver tail, so it goes down at an angle. So I built this just to level that out so that before we could have that couch up on there. So the next step for us is gonna to be to finish the interior all off. You can see we've got the um, 
real industrial floor here. We're gonna switch that to laminate flooring, which will go over the whole thing and it'll go right into this. Wow, that wind's blowing now. Close that. There, that's better. So that'll go right up to the door here just to kind of finish this whole space in. So this is more of like a living room area, but really glad that we went for the patio door there. It's really gonna change the way that we enjoy this trailer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is not so much a how to as it is, look what we did. And if you wanted to, you could use some of the ideas we've given here to figure out how to do it yourself. There are kits that are designed to do this as well. And I did not feel inclined to buy one of those kits because I was able to get the door just used for 200 bucks. The wood cost me about another $150. So I'm into this whole thing for less than $400. Whereas the pre-built kits are gonna cost you a couple thousand dollars. And they're not as nice as this, I don't think, really. So anyway, I rambled long enough. I hope you do enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below. We had a lot of great videos over here that you can check out. Uh, until next time though, have a great day.